Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of honoring Her Royal Highness, issued by the Initiative of Contemporary and Historical Women Leaders with Influential Actions to Advancement of Peace, Human Rights and Development, which was announced in Geneva on the occasion of UNESCO's launch of the International Day of Women in Multilateralism for the year 2022. In her cable, Her Royal Highness renewed her pride and gratitude for His Majesty the King's unwavering care and support for her national responsibilities and efforts to contribute to translating the royal aspirations for more progress and prosperity to the nation and to the ground. His Royal Highness, Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, expressed deep pride in the achievements and dedication of Bahraini women, affirming her unwavering support to them in order to continue bringing about more successes, commensurate with the advanced level reached by the kingdom as a result of the patriotic efforts of its women and men, becoming a role model for dedication, giving, and excellence. In the cable, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika also affirmed that all credit for any national achievement should go to His Majesty the King, as nothing could have been achieved without His Majesty's support. And in this context, Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued a statement considering the honor as a tribute to the Kingdom of Bahrain and an appreciation of its position and its active role in achieving security, peace and development and in preserving and strengthening the human rights system. In her statement, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika expressed sincere gratitude to all those who have backed her long journey in serving the glorious National March since His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, noting that her achievements could not have been possible without the constant care of His Majesty the King and the support of Bahraini competencies and experts in all fields. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika said, as we receive this honor, we would like to express utmost thanks and appreciation to the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by our dear son, His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for their exceptional efforts to translate the royal pioneering vision and aspiration into the ground, as well as to support the work of the Supreme Council for Women and the aspirations of Bahraini women, which is reflected in the impressive results achieved by the Kingdom in this regard and proved by many international reports and publications which confirm the growing performance and rapid progress of the participation of Bahraini women in the development of their country. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika also paid tribute to all state departments, particularly the legislative branch which gives top priority to the issues of Bahraini women and ways to ensure the sustainability of their advancement, highlighting the legislature's continuous efforts to develop the national laws and legislation and related to Bahraini women rights. Her, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika also expressed the Supreme Council for Women's gratitude to all the entities and persons, including civil institutions, media platforms and columnists, for their interaction and constructive remarks on the ways to enhance its work for the best interests of the Bahraini society. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized his special representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the horse racing festival held today for His Majesty's Cup at the Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Rafa Sakhir. Also present were the chairman of the Supreme Committee of the club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Their Highnesses and Excellencies, diplomats and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the race cups as His Highness presented the King's Cup for Arabian Horses to Fawzi Nas and presented the King's Cup for locally bred horses to Fawzi Nas. His Highness also presented the King's Cup for imported horses to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and presented the Charter Cup to the winning owner Abdullah Fawzi Nas while Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club presented the Arrafa Cup to the winning trainer, 
Jabir Ramadan and the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club to the winning owner, Abdullah Al Isa, while the representative of Tetra Cells presented Tetra Cells Sprint Cup to trainer Yusuf Tahir. His Majesty the King's personal representative expressed pride in attending the race on behalf of His Majesty the King, commending the efforts of the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in organizing such races and supporting the jockeys. He lauded the achievements made by Bahraini jockeys in the equestrian and horse racing sport. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad also commended the care and support of His Majesty the King to the equestrian and horse racing sport, which enabled the Kingdom of Bahrain to occupy a prominent place in the sport locally, regionally, and internationally. His Highness described the royal support as a motive for Bahraini riders to do their best in big races. His Highness congratulated the winners, wishing them success in the upcoming races. The Education Minister, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Naimi, participated remotely in the seventh meeting of the Regional Center for Quality and Excellence in Education. Based in Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Regional Center operates under the supervision of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. The Saudi Minister of Education, Dr. Hamad bin Mohammed Al-Sheikh, chaired the virtual session which also attended by the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization Director General Dr. Mohammed Wild Umar and other officials. Dr. Naimi addressed the session, commending the cooperation between the Regional Center for Quality and Excellence in Education and the Bahrain-based Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Asian Cooperation Dialogue Secretary General, Dr. Pornchaya Dan Viva Thana. 
They discussed paths of joint cooperation between the member states of the forum, the efforts made by the General Secretary to prepare for the upcoming meetings between senior officials within the framework of the Kingdom of Bahrain's presidency of the forum in its current session, and ways to intensify communication and enhance efforts towards achieving the goals and objectives that it seeks to serve the interests of member states. And on the sideline of the second Antalya Diplomatic Forum, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Ziani, met in Antalya, Turkey, with the UAE Minister of Economy, Mr. Abdullah bin Tog Al Mirri. During the meeting, they discussed fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates and their leaders and people, the, crawl, the course of bilateral cooperation, and ways to advance the relations to more comprehensive levels in all fields in addition to the developments of the political and security situations on the regional and international arenas and issues of common interest. And the minister also met in Antalya, the Lebanese Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, Dr. Abdullah Abu Habib. The meeting discussed the strong relations that unite the Kingdom of Bahrain and Lebanon, their leaders and their people, and what is characterized by their solidity and mutual keenness to continue coordination and joint cooperation in the service of the common interests and the development of joint cooperation in various fields. In response to an invitation from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the National Space Science Authority participated in the International Conference on Artificial Intelligence Innovation, Productivity and Skills 2022. The Chief Executive Officer of the Authority, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al-Asiri, said artificial intelligence AI has begun to reshape economies and societies all over the world, as it offers new products and services in various fields, including space science, productivity, improved efficiency, and reduced costs. Al-Asiri added that everyone witnessed the role of artificial intelligence and automation in every stage of combating the coronavirus from scientific discovery and diagnosis to tracking the impact of the epidemic on society. And the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,231,725 had taken the first dose of COVID-19 vaccination, while 1,214,133 had taken the second dose and 968,406 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Minister of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 15,968 with 2,197 recoveries and 1,483 registered new cases. 33 active cases were receiving medical treatment and nine patients are in critical condition. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.